What's up guys? So the moment y'all have been waiting for, I'm officially seven pounds down. I was seven pounds down when I started the video, but I wanted to wait until I announced that because um, I was kind of like back and forth and I wanted to make sure the number was going to be accurate. My cycle came on. So these videos are like a week behind um, the actual week that I'm on. So the first video when I put out my week one, I was just starting and now this is going to be week two. So I have officially lost seven pounds. My cycle came on. So I went up a few pounds, you know, just like some water weight and I was just going back and forth. I was very bloated. So, you know cycle week does not count for weight loss because my weight loss is really very very much anything when i'm on my cycle so i started at 225 i am 218 and um starting today i'm going to be going on strict keto so that means that next week's vlog will be more strict recipes i didn't really say that or explain that really well so today i'm editing the video so this is me today talking but yes next week i will be doing more strict recipes but this will be still like a low carb video with low carb recipes i've been doing like low carb tortillas and you know kind of maneuvering some of the things into my diet it's so hard to get straight on keto and like go straight from eating regular food to keto because keto is so restrictive so i try to ease my way in that's also why i don't fast like the first day i ease my way in like a week or two until i do that because shocking your body and doing something so different it, you're more likely to not be successful at it so i tried to ease my way in so now that I'm pretty much used to it, I'm going back to strict keto. I have goals to meet. We have goals to meet. The summer is a few months away and we can totally be at our dream bodies or our goal weight by then so we have to stay focused so i'm going to be going to straight keto and taking y'all along to the journey of what i define straight keto as and that means like no like little sneaky snacks no things that could be keto but they have a couple of ingredients that are bad like i'm going to be trying to do my best to be eating as clean as possible but i wanted to go ahead and update y'all on the weight let's go ahead and get into a few days of eating in this little mini vlog i did not um do a lot of home cooked meals because your girl, you know, she's a mom. She's a single mom and I have like a lot of things to do. I'm an entrepreneur and my days are full. So every day I cannot do a home cooked meal, but I did find some great alternatives. I just got back from the store. I decided to pick up a few things and I wanted to show y'all like a little mini grocery haul. Excuse the noise, I live by an Air Force base. I shopped at Kroger today and found a bunch of keto things and I just wanted to show y'all what I picked up. So I found these home bakes. I've never seen them before. I got four different ones. This is the garlic butter chicken scampi and it looks really good. And on the back it says that it only has six carbs for one serving which i thought was pretty good i also had got this southwest style chipotle chicken this one also has this one has four carbs Both main dishes and then i got two side dishes this is the italian style cauliflower and this has four net carbs which i didn't think was bad and the calories are also really good for those who count calories this and then i got the cheesy broccoli which also is six carbs and now uh, some of these do have breadcrumbs on top which is what the um description said but it must not be that much if it is um still within the macros so i'm not really worried about that a little bit but the description sounds like they are so good and they look good in the picture so i had to pick them up i may do one of these for dinner tonight because you know some days i really don't feel like cooking and this is a great alternative it's fresh it doesn't look like it's been 
frozen for a long time. So I thought those were nice little options. Definitely pick them up if you have a Kroger near you or um, like a food brand chain that's Kroger related. You'll be able to find those. I also picked up this mixed berries pack. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things from the store. I have not been able to get them. The Kroger by my house is trash, so I had to go like 15, 20 minutes to the other one. But these come pre-portioned, which I love. They're in individual packages with it here. And this is a mixed berries smoothie pack, strawberry, blackberries, blueberries, and raspberries. And for each serving, it is 27 total carbs, but eight dietary fiber so we're at 21 and one bag will give you like three smoothies so you know i um mix mine with the atkins protein top um protein shake as you guys can see and you know just split it up it doesn't have to be one so yeah i like these because they're pre-portioned and you don't have to worry about stupid stuff out got chicken shrimp and some post kielbasa and then these are the chicken tenders that i buy i like to purchase these ones i really don't go for like the cheap chicken tenders or chicken breast i will buy these or the purdue brand because i really like um the fact that they have no antibiotics in them i find them to be a lot cleaner like they don't have a, as much gunk on them as some of the other chicken pieces do so i like to buy them the oranges are for my daughter she requested those i picked up some coffee as well i'm running low on my nespresso pods and i haven't ordered some more yet but i really like cold coffee coffee is something that i feel like i have to have like at least one time throughout the day so i try to keep coffee I do like this. I normally buy the bold one, but I drink a lot of like lattes and light coffee. So I wanted to try out the bright and mellow one. And this only has three carbs in it. It's not sweet and it's unsweet. It's just cold brew coffee. And I got a zero sugar French vanilla. I have the caramel macchiato flavor. That's my favorite flavor, but I'm trying to um, add the French vanilla in just for like coffee that I don't want to have caramel in. Every coffee does not have to be caramel. I normally get the Kool-Aid ones, but they didn't have any grape. So I just got this one. This is just a Kroger brand. It had electrolytes in it. So that was a plus because on keto, you know, you need extra electrolytes. And then I also got these flavors to try. These are crystal lights blueberry, blue raz, and strawberry pineapple. I've been craving pineapple like crazy. And I know we can't have regular pineapple. So I wanted to find a little flavor pod that would give me the same flavor. That's pretty much it for the haul. So I'll be back later when it's time to eat lunch. If I'm going to eat any lunch, honestly, it's 1038. So I might not eat anything or I may just come back when I make my coffee midday or like a snack or something. But as of right now, I don't know if I'm going to actually eat lunch. I'm not big on breakfast and I'm not big on snacking. So I'll usually eat my breakfast for lunch. I have been fasting. Right now it's about time. Like I said, I normally just don't eat breakfast. So I'm fasting until lunchtime. I eat my breakfast for lunch. Y'all should have already seen I made me a smoothie this morning and then I'm probably going to make me a coffee in a couple of hours or so and maybe have like a little snack, like a little bowl of strawberries or something like that until dinner to just carry me over. So, yeah. Yeah, these are my only intentions. Stay in the kitchen cooking up, catch your own bread. Heart full of equity, you're an asset. Make sure that you don't need no mentions. Yeah, these are my only intentions. Shout out to your mom and dad for making you. Staying in a vision, they did a great job raising you. When I create, you're my muse. The kind of smile that makes the news. Can't nobody throw shade on your name in these streets. Triple threat, you a boss, you a bait, you a beast. You make it easy to choose. You got a mean touch, you can't refuse. No, I can't refuse. Picture perfect, you don't need no filter.
Yeah, you got the yummy, yum, the yummy, yum, the yummy, yum. We work on my way. Yeah, babe, yeah, babe, yeah, babe. plate once I get it plated I'm about to go take a shower real quick but I actually tried that I think it's really good the Southwest the Southwest chicken is really good the broccoli is a little bit too like thick for me so you know I did season it up add a little bit of seasoning and some heavy whipping cream just to like loosen it up a little bit I think it tastes a lot better um, but like overall the base is pretty good it's easy quick you don't feel like cooking great alternative so that was pretty much it for the day. I had coffee, a smoothie, and my dinner. Um, like I said, I'm not a big snacker, and I'm really not big on eating throughout the day because I'm just busy. But I think I'm gonna do like a what I eat in a few days, like a few days in my life, but like a few days in low carb eating what I eat because this was just like so easy and so quick, the video will be so short. So I'm gonna show you guys probably tomorrow as well because I am cooking tomorrow some sausage, some Southern style cabbage with sausage and shrimp. So it should be pretty good. So I'm gonna show y'all that. I forgot to show y'all my plate, but y'all saw what I ate, so it's okay. I went ahead and like, eat that down because I was so hungry but I'm a, but I'm gonna follow it up with this keto friendly walnut fudge brownie I love the Duncan Hines brands like their little cups and frostings and everything are really really good so this is my favorite one the walnut brownie mix it has five net carbs 10 grams of protein with some of this zero sugar Hershey's syrup ingredients look pretty good I don't see any amounts at all or anything that would um, spike your insulin levels this looks like it's sweetened with sucralose so we're good but if it does and somebody has experienced their get themselves getting knocked out of ketosis let me know i guess it just depends and you know it depends on the person but i'm gonna go ahead and mix this up and then show y'all what it looks like i'm just gonna put some of this whipped cream on top and a little bit of this hershey syrup and some lily's chocolate chips chocolate lilies white chocolate lilies and i'm gonna throw a strawberry on there i just got these these look so good all right y'all we're making the cabbage and shrimp and sausage today this is the southern cabbage recipe. I've already cut everything up just to cut down on time. So what you're gonna need is some onions, white onions, and your peppers of your choice. Sausage, this is Polish kielbasa, and cabbage. Lots of cabbage. And then I also have some shrimp over here that we're gonna cook up and season up in a separate pan. So let's go ahead and get straight to it. I know I haven't really been, you know, showing y'all a lot today because I have been fasting unintentionally. I have not been eating today, honestly. I'm just not eating. I had some coffee earlier from Starbucks. I had a skinny uh, caramel macchiato with almond milk. If y'all ever wanna get a Starbucks order, that's what I had. So we're about to go ahead and cook this up and this is gonna be dinner.
All right, y'all, this is a finished dish. It looks good. The shrimp are so good. Like, I seasoned them up so good. But that's it for today. I'm gonna go ahead and eat, excuse my skin, my lightweight stuff, and it makes my skin oily. But don't do that. Does anybody else have a picky eater? Because I do. She says no shrimps, but she eats shrimps. Anyways. That's it for today. I'm gonna to go ahead and eat my bowl. This um, keto, what I eat in a day or a few days per se, has not been like one consistent day of eating. So I haven't given y'all like a breakfast option. So I'm gonna give y'all a breakfast option, a dinner option, and you know, a little smoothie option. So that's what this is gonna look like. All right, y'all. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that like button. Also hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and you want to come along on the journey. Leave me a comment down below. Say hello, what your name is. I want to, you know, see who's subscribing due to the weight loss videos. And let me know if y'all like these weight loss videos. And I'm going to keep on posting them because I want to be accountable. This is something that I'm kind of doing just to be accountable to myself. And when I first did the keto diet, the other times, YouTube was my biggest friend. Like all the people on YouTube were the reason why I feel like I was able to be successful on keto. I was able to look at people, find ideas, meal ideas, look at transformations and constantly stay motivated and, um, you know, just positive. So I just want to be that for somebody else. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all next week.